So this lab uh, is essentially where we do research and development for all of our hardware. Uh, we've been doing hardware for a long time, primarily on the, pro on the uh, testing and validation side, and now we're able to prototype parts as well. So instead of having them made by other companies, we can make our own parts in-house. First pieces of equipment I want to talk about is actually our, our water jet. It's high pressure water, and that water will cut through pretty much anything. This is our surround 360, our 3D 360 camera. I just wanted to show you this because this actual outside shroud, this is something that we could prototype on our water jet. This machine is our one of our three axis milling machines. It's the biggest one that we that we currently have. This is kind of like the workhorse of the shop. It's very versatile, it's very easy to use. So an example of that would be the propeller from the Aquila. So we won't be making the propeller, but we will be making the tools to support the prototyping build. So this machine will take a piece of sheet metal and actually fold it up to the specified angle. And it's capable of prototyping a lot of very interesting sheet metal components. Um, some of those components would be in our server rack. So this is our five axis milling machine. And this is my favorite machine. It's a very powerful machine that can do very complex prototypes very quickly and accurately. It took about uh, nine months to build the space. Uh, the new area is 22,000 square feet. So we'll have about eight to 10 uh, dedicated staff here in the lab, but there's room here for about 80 other engineers who'll be working on specific projects. So I guess the two things um, that we look for is innovation with hardware. If we don't feel like the industry is moving in the right direction, making our own hardware allows us to do our own innovation. And it also generally provides a lower cost product for us at the end of the day.